My name is Michael. How are you, my friend? Okay. Pleased to meet are you okay with them speaking and taking your time? So, I, you've made her upset, man. No, 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 no. You've made her upset. No, it's, it's a, you made her upset, to be honest. She has answered a lot of questions. Okay, go ahead. What's your, what do you need? Um, How can I help you? Just meet you. It's a pleasure. So you've disturbed me at the conversation with her? Just to meet you, yes. Which is a pleasure, so we can have a conversation. I've got a question for you. No, no, just hold on, hold on. Oh, you're the so, so we yeah. can have a conversation. Bro. So, my name is Michael, and I had a few conversations with uh, Hashim, Hamza, and quite a lot of them. I mean, all of them. So, but I'm just uh, here to, you know, to stand up for Christianity, because within the debate, within the conversation we're having with the sisters, there are a lot of things that uh, no, she was no, agreeing on, with, with no, you, which is wrong. No, no, come, come, and that's not Christianity. One, First of all, as a Christian, we don't believe we one have minute. the same God. One Just in terms of principle, one the God of, of Islam and the God of, Christian, of, of, of Christianity totally different in character and nature. And I want to emphasize that, that our God in his nature, in character, is completely different from the God of Islam. But I genuinely believe you really believe you have the truth. I can't take it away from you because the passion, and then I can see the, the passion and the dedication you have. I believe you believe you believe in the true God. So, but what's the question you want so to my, ask me? My position now comes because, as far as I can, I can see, the Bible does not address the Quran, but the Quran addresses the Bible. The Quran doesn't talk about the Bible. Oh yes, it does. Because the Quran talks about the people of the book, yeah. the, the, the Jews the, yeah. and the Christian. Sorry, just directing your book is attacking the Christians. But let me explain something just before you continue, because okay. the word, the word. Yeah, no, no, I'm just saying the I'm, word Bible. I'm trying to set. I'm trying to set the platform where we stand. Where we stand, you and me, as a Christian and the Muslim. That's what I'm. So, yeah, I, want right, so I want you to differentiate, okay, between the Bible and the Gospel, because the Bible is a is a is a Greek word meaning book, biblios, right? The Quran doesn't mention this word at all, okay? The Bible with its composition now, the 27 books of the New Testament, and the, whatever you want to say about the Old Testament, depending on whose count you take of the New Test, the Old Testament as well. That corpus there is not addressed in the Quran at all. What's addressed in the Quran is Torah and Injil, which is the Torah. Yeah, and the Injil. And in fact, what's addressed explicitly is the Torah, which is originally sent to Moses, and the Injil, the Gospels, that was originally sent to uh, Jesus. What we believe is that Moses had an original Torah, which we say now has been corrupted, and that Jesus had an original Gospel, the Gospel not according to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, but the Gospel according to Jesus, which is now not with us. So our view is, the Quran doesn't talk about the Bible or the New Testament or the Old Testament. It talks about the Torah and the Injil. You won't find the word Bible in the Quran anywhere. Can I answer now? Yeah. First of all, I have to, to clarify. The Bible is, is, the, is the naming of a book that talks about the history of God and the certain people and through those people what had occurred after. So when we talk about the Bible, it talks about God creation. So it's just a naming of a book. Okay. But within that naming, there is a two section uh, of a history, which is the beginning of the history before the coming of Christ. Yes, sir. And then the coming of Christ. We don't yes, believe Christ, Jesus came with a gospel. There's no such a thing as a gospel was given to Jesus. Sorry? There, there's no such thing as a gospel was given to was given to Jesus. I don't have one. If you give me one. There yeah. was, there's no such thing as a, as a gospel was given to Jesus. There's no such thing as a gospel was given to Moses. There's no such thing. It does not exist. But the Bible, sorry, just sorry. The Bible, sorry. Is that Josh? Sorry. Josh, the Bible, is that you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The, Bible, the Bible is a book of history. And this history is talk about a specific people. And God himself chose those people to reveal himself 
who he is yeah. as a so, team so what we're saying, so I'm trying yeah. to clarify to yeah, you. Yeah, I understand. In terms so of what, we're what is the yeah, difference yeah, between yeah. the Bible yeah, yeah. and then what you are calling yeah. Injil yeah. and the Torah, whatever. Yeah. So I'm no, but, but I actually, say, I'm gonna finish let's, and then I'll yeah, of course, time. of course, sir. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is, this is clearly what it is. The Bible is a book of history because it's yeah. not a God commanding right right no this is a people who has a relationship with god and what they were told to do what they did themselves you understand and then what was the, you know i understand so this is that's a difference so we don't believe literally the bible is the word of god yeah, yeah, I understand. written yeah compared so, to the hold on yeah Quran. there is a difference okay. there yeah so, so i would say to you that just ask yes, that sir. point and then i'll give you time well, to yeah so i don't i don't disagree with what you said we respect the bible we think it's a book of great wisdom with lots of truth inside of it but what we're saying is that the Bible that you're... No, no, sorry, I missed to answer that, uh, Angel and whatever. No, sorry, how the... Now, let me just come back. Uh, yeah, and then I, you... I just want to make that point. I, I, I did not answer how the Quran addressed it. But you're going to have to let me speak yeah, back. Yeah, yes. Otherwise, it's just going to be a one way. Yeah, yeah, I just want to what I'm back. saying to you is this, is that we don't disagree that the Bible has many historical elements which are very true and very important. And we, we respect many, many things inside of the Bible. Um, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't disrespect the Bible. You know, I, I find it's a it's a book with many truths inside of it. The the Torah, the the Jewish and Christian class understanding of it is it's the first five books of the Old Testament. We our understanding is different. Okay, our understanding is that it was the original uh, message that was sent to Moses. Whereas, what was the message? What was the message? Yeah. So we believe that Moses had an original Torah. Which one? Which, which one? Which was or which was distorted? Which was corrupted? We don't have it with us. So, I mean, so what? For you to claim so, something but, so, I have, you have to have something. No, which is, actually, the, which is no, no. which is real. Well, to compare it with. No, no, no. Actually, that's not. True. No, that's not how. It works. That's you not how history works. Excuse me, being a liar. No, no, no. When me, you don't okay, sir, have the truth. Let me. From which okay. I'm lying for. Okay, let me explain something. The burden of proof is upon the, the one that's making the claim. You agree, yeah? So my claim is this. My claim is, my original claim with the sister was that with the Quran and the Hadith, the, 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 the point of difference between the Quran and the Hadith on the one hand and the Old Testament and the New Testament on the other hand is a chain of narration. That's the difference. So now if, you, if, you're in a, if you're doing text criticism of the Old Testament, if you're doing text criticism of the New Testament and you decide what you want to put into the Bible and take out, what is going to be your harmonizing method? What are you going to do to, to put certain things in and take certain things out? What I'm saying is that when I did this myself and I was in a text criticism classroom like Joshua, I'm sure he has sat these modules. I was told explicitly by the scholars of Christianity that there is no harmonizing method. In other words, when it comes to the Old Testament, okay, when you want to decide what comes into the Old Testament, comes out of it. You have the Masoretic text, you have the Septuagint, you have the Dead Sea Scrolls. And these kinds of part, you know, these kinds of manuscripts and so on. And what you do is you decide what goes in and comes out. Septuagint is not even in the Hebrew, it's, it's in Greek, so it has to be translated. What we're saying is that of all of these, I mean, the Dead Sea Scrolls was only found 40 years ago, 50 years or something like that ago, yeah? The, the point is, is that they, none of those texts have a chain of narration. We are not sure that Moses or any of the other prophets that are meant to have met, uh, narrated the Old Testament has actually narrated the Old Testament because there's no chain of narration. Likewise, the New Testament, the, the, likewise, so sorry, one more thing. Likewise, the New Testament, the, the, likewise, the New Testament, likewise, the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and others, they did not meet Jesus Christ. There's no historical evidence that they met him. And, no, but, but please, sister, please, let's just, let's just get to the point. You ha if you say that there is evidence, you have to provide it because now you're making the claim. I'm saying that from what we know from text criticism, these sources came about 95 years, in the case of John, after Jesus. So we have no reason to believe whatsoever that these were people who knew and lived with Jesus Christ. So we're saying that the, the, the first point that we have to get over is, how do we know that Moses or Jesus or any of the other prophets that are mentioned in the Old Testament or the New Testament actually said what they're meant to say? That's question one. Yeah, How do we know? What's the chain of narration? Question two is, you know, you have the New Testament, 27 books of the New Testament. Yeah, I was just speaking to the sister and telling her, look, who is, who is the one who, who decided on 27 books of the New Testament? It was, as far as I know, and my reading of history, and I'm willing to be corrected here, it was Athanasius. 
Athanasius single-handedly almost, with no council backing, no council backing, decided that there'll be 27 books of the New Testament. So, no, we'll come, we'll come, we'll come no, to that, it. That is incorrect. Well, if it is, then you're going to correct me. I, listen, we'll come to it. We'll come to it, please. No, no, so, well, well, so, 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 Athanasius, so, so, number two is Athanasius, he had the final list of 27 books. And how do I know that? I can give you the, 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 the I can give you the, um, I can give you the, the evidence right now. You know, so you have uh, Bibli Ecclesiastic writers like Jerome and even Eusebius who wrote uh, Ecclesiastic Church, uh, who, um, history, yeah? They mention uh, Athanasius is the one, okay? They mention that Athanasius is the one who decided on 27 books. Now, my question is, brother, get it, sorry. I mean, there's too much, brother. It's too much. It's too much, you know what I mean, bro? I'm going to look like a terrorist now. I'm going to blow myself up or something. What's this, man? No, brother, you have to sort it out because I'm not, I can't deal with this stuff. Yeah, so look, what I'm saying is that there's two points. Number one, chain of narration. What is, I've got two questions and that's it. And I believe you, believe you me, and this is for all the Christians here, for yourself, for yourself. And I know you're a PhD, have you finished it yet? So you're a doctor, well done, thank you very much. You're, you're, a, scholar, you're a scholar of Christianity and you're as well. So you've got some laymen, you've got some scholars. All I'm going to say is this, two questions. When it comes to the Old Testament and the New Testament, what is the harmonizing method? Now let me just finish. Let me just finish, bro. I know you want to get in, but let me just say what I want to say. What is the harmonizing method? What is the harmonizing method in regards to deciding what goes into the Old Testament and comes out and what doesn't? Number one. Number two is who gave Athanasius or whoever it is in the fourth century that decided that the, the New Testament is going to be 27 books, the, the authority to do so. Number three, number three is where is the chain of narration? You see these three questions? How we have three questions. What is the harmonizing method? Number one. I've got three questions. What is the harmonizing method, number one? Number two, what did we say? We said that who gave Athanasius and others the authority for 27 books? And number three, we said what? Who remembers? If you can't remember the questions, brother, how are you going to answer them? I'm going to answer you. I'm going to answer you. No, no, no. If you can't remember the questions, you can't answer. Let me, let me say the questions one more time. Question one. What is the harmonizing method of what goes in the Old Testament and New Testament and what comes out, what is it? Number two is, where is the chain of narration? Of people that lived and ate and you know, slept at the same time as Jesus or Moses or whatever, that actually narrated what Jesus said, not someone 100 years after. And number three, and don't divert to Islam, we can have that discussion afterwards. These are the three questions. The, the third question, who gave Athanasius the, the right, yeah? To, to, or whoever it may have been in addition to Athanasius, the right to choose 27 books of the New Testament, not 29, 30, or 26 and 25. That's my three questions. Okay. Uh, who's going to answer? I'm asking. Who's going to answer? I'm going to answer you. I'm going to answer you. Listen, listen, brother. He's a doctor. Yeah, you can, uh, Sorry, you can, uh, brother, brother. He's a, he's a, he's a scholar so of Christianity. Right. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't, no, no, it, no. Would you like to defer it to him? Let me talk. Would you like to defer it to him? He's going to talk. Okay, I'm going to answer. Okay, you can answer. answer. You can answer. Bro, yeah. All those questions you're asking are irrelevant. No, I'm sorry. I'm... Just hear me. No, I'm not. History. Brother. Mohamed Dijam. History. History remains history. And its truth always prevails. I come from okay. where I come from. Okay. We have a history. Okay. This history may not have been recorded, but this history is true. It has occurred. Okay. And I'm telling you, is that, your proof, yeah, fine. your proof of the Bible. I haven't said any proof. Just all that. Yeah. The proof of the Bible being yeah. true yeah. is the land of Israel itself, its people. Yeah. Because the blood. I'm going to ask you. Just let him, let him finish. So, so when that. you're talking about the chain of narration, yeah. someone told, someone, someone told, it can be made up. Okay. There is no way we can verify those people. Really, have you heard it from so and so? so this can be okay. made up. So your, that's what I'm saying. Your so, question, so, sorry, yeah. your question is irrelevant. Irrelevant. So you don't have an answer to it. Just, I'm answering you. I'm saying. So you don't have an answer. To we it. have the proof of okay. the Bible being true. Where is based it? Based on the land of Israel. Okay. And is people nation of Israel? So do you all agree with that the answer? All Bible. Are you convinced by that? Just hold on. The Bible claims that the nation that? of Israel will be right. destroyed. Okay, thank you. Well Marcos, thank the you. The Old Testament, yeah. the Bible claims 
the nation of Israel will be destroyed. Okay. And he will be restored again. Okay, Marcus. All this I event, understand. Yes, the yes. Old Testament talked about, all occurred in our, all right. our time. Sorry. In our time are evidence. But, okay. So our, our Bible... So you don't have a harmonizing method? You don't have a chain of narration? I said to you, those can be made up. There is no way. So we you can don't have verify. a you don't have a harmonizing method. We can we cannot verify so you don't, your chains. And as an atheist, twenty seven books. Your chains of narration. All right, all right, thank you. No, your chains right, of so narration. Thank you very much. What you're claiming is that it? cannot be verified. Okay, okay, well, fine. Cannot be verified. Thank you, Marco. Listen, listen. I've listened to what you've said now. I've heard what you've Did said. You hear my yes, answers. I have. Can I uh, can I respond to that? Well, look. So I've asked them three questions. Number one, how do you decide what goes in and what comes out of the Bible in terms of text criticism? Is there a harmonizing method. You said that's irrelevant. I think that's very relevant because if, if that wasn't there, then we would just we would have a, a slap dash. No, ad was, let me say, please, excuse me. Itself. Marco, I've had listen. I have, uh, my, my friend, yeah, exactly. I, have I listened to you? If it was claimed, it was the Marco, first claim, Marco. we wouldn't okay. have it. All right, so, no, you, no, don't go. No, 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 if, you, if you're not going to respect don't me, go, go. if you're going to speak over me, then I'm not going to see that you're going to want to preach. You can preach on a, on a step. I'm not preaching, I'm asking. All right, so li just listen. The first thing is, I asked you three questions. I asked you, is, is there a harmonizing method? Meaning, is there a way you can decipher what is the Bible and what isn't the Bible from the manuscript evidence that you have? Listen, please, excuse me. We know now what do scholars do to determine? I know you read the Bible. You need the King James Version? What do you read? King James, yeah. So, so there's some scholars that have decided that this is going to be part of the King James Version. They sit down and say, okay, this is the Masoretic text, this is the, this is the, uh, in the, in the case of the Old Testament, this is the uh, Dead Sea Scrolls, this is the Septuagint, we'll decide what goes in and we'll decide what goes out. My question is, when they're making that decision, what principles are they using to come to that conclusion? You're saying it doesn't matter, okay, no problem, it doesn't matter. Then as historians, we have no, as historians, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me finish. I, I, please, Marco. Ma no. Listen, listen. In, before you start interjecting, like you did with this uh, this this positive woman here. Don't do that. Don't okay, Marco, you did you did take her mic away. Oh, you're a nice guy. And I'll be that. I'll be honest. She was doing a better job than you. Okay. Oh, you, oh, according to you, because she was selling you out. She was selling out. Anyways, That's she wasn't selling out. You like? Okay, uh, so she's Christian, by Christian. Anyway, so look. Any, anyway, look. Point is, you're saying by you saying that the questions are irrelevant. I will take it that you don't have an answer for those questions. Of so, course I have so no, no, you've tried. You had your chance. Yeah, I'll I, give you. Okay. I gave you. A I meaning. will give. Listen, I gave Marco. You a meaning. Marco, stop a being. Meaning. Stop talking. You have a. You have a scholar behind you who's finished his PhD in, in Christian studies. You have. Matter. Listen. 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 Matter. Listen. You have two options. Either you'll be humble enough to say I don't know. I'll defer it to my brother here, or I, which I think you should. Which I think you should do. I mean, in Millionaire, they have. Like, phone a friend call the audience no, no. you know 50 50. I would, if I was in your position and I had someone who was much more knowledgeable than me no, in my religion not, behind me, I would, I would say, you know, please come it, on, help me out. It's not about that. You, no problem. Yeah. No, no, no. Marco, listen, you. listen. If you want to be the man, if you don't know, no, no, you don't know. Don't worry, don't worry. No, no, no. Yeah, if you, even your sister's you see, selling, if you don't no, know, you, you don't see, know. What, what I'm Marco, I'm giving you one more chance. You have to yeah, listen, gonna, yeah. listen, listen. Listen, listen. You have two choices. Either you phone a friend, maybe you want to ask the audience, listen to me. Marco, I'm giving you a chance to phone a friend and I by the way, I highly recommend you do. Yeah? No, 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 no. Let me ask it. You ask the audience or you try one more time and I, I promise you here, if you lose this, everyone's gonna see. According to you. Okay. According to you, no one My question, one more time, the question is clear. What is the harmonizing principle for the Old Testament and New Testament as relates to text criticism? How do we know what goes in and what comes out? That's question one. What is it? Number two, it's a question. It's a general knowledge question. Number two is, what is the chain of narration, if there is one at all, for the Old Testament and the New Testament? And number three is, listen, number three is, who gave Athanasius the right to choose 27 books of the New Testament, not 28, 29, or 25, or 26. These are the okay. questions. Who gave Abu Bakr the right to, That's not my question. to burn at the Quran? That was asked man, by the way. I'm answering by your question. Okay, answer my okay. question first, I'll answer yours. I'm saying to you. Do you have who an answer? Gave Abu Bakr so you don't have an answer? No, no, I'm answering. I'm answering. Why are you asking me a question? Why I'm saying to you. 
So, so you don't have a, you don't have an answer. I've, I've answered you, but no, you haven't. You question. said it was irrelevant. I've answered you by the question. Has she answered? I've answered. She hasn't answered. So I'm going Marco. to say to you. I'm going to say. Marco, to you, you don't have an answer for me. What matters is is the story being true. How do you know I, it's true I, when there's no no, no, no chain of narration? I'm bringing to okay. the truth. So we don't have an answer. No, just hold on. Yeah. That's why the reason why I say, yeah, the point you are bringing, first of all, your chain of narration that you are claiming. Yeah. I'm, asking, I'm not Islamic. talking about chain. No, I'm just saying, just have you got a chain of narration? No, you're trying to apply your logic of yeah. Islamic have you got? logic to Christianity logic. It's not. No problem. Work like I'm that. asking a question. No, Is there, I, so you're saying no, there's no chain of narration? No, Is that the answer? You are standing. Oh, actually, Is there a chain of narration? I'm saying to you. Actually, the chain of narration is the land of Israel, the so nation of the, Israel. So the, the country itself? They're proving, oh, okay. they're proving okay, yeah. that the oh, history of I see, Christianity I see. is true. All right, okay, thank That's you. That's the answer I thank can you. give you. Thank you very much. And I'm just saying you. The people will make you, their decision. You, That's it. you've been, okay, you've thank been you. woman. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. You have a grandfather. Yeah. And the evidence of that grandfather existing is you being here. All right, okay. You understand? Yes, I understand. You speak. You yes. speak. Yeah. You speak the Thank history, you. the truth right. right. of history. Well, so, yeah. people right. of this time, the nation of Israel, yeah. yes, yes. the Christian, yes, yes, and the miracles, yes, miracles, and everything they do, yes, yes. prove yes. the yeah. Bible is true. Okay, thank you, Marco. You yes, thank you very much. But I wanted Let the people to go decide in if that's theology. satisfactory or not. I wanted to go right. in the any, any other thing? No, no. Yes, I wanted to go I because. So there's no answers. Yeah, yeah. Do you wanna, do you wanna come here? Do you wanna talk to you? I don't wanna.